Yo, yo, what's up everybody, man, it's your boy. I'm back in here, it's been a while since I made a video. I've been transitioning, relocating to a whole different state. You know, I'm here, I'm finally getting settled. Everything is good, you know, we here. Once again, it's your boy, Mr. Melvin TV. Back up at you, AKA Rich Man, AKA Mr. Richard. Whatever you wanna call me, that's fine. We'll roll with that. Got a new video for y'all today. Uh, the fellas here, I know you're gonna probably enjoy this one here. This is gonna be called the top 10 king and tribes who are the most curviest, baby. Top 10, but it's over 40 king and tribes. And I picked the 10 that I thought were the most either beautiful, more traditional, or that was like super curvy to where you just have to pay attention to them. You know, you got to pay attention to them. So those are the 10 I picked. No offense to my Kenya friends. If I didn't pick your tribe, don't come for me. <laughs> don't come for your boy at all. But I picked the top 10. The thing with Kenya is that it is a very beautiful country, even though I've never been there. But, you know, from the things I researched, look like it's, it's a looks like it's a very nice country to places like um, Danani, which is on the coast near uh, Mombasa on the Indian Ocean, beaches, everything is very nice. They got a restaurant cave out there to Nairobi, which is the, the biggest city in Kenya, which is what, where it's most all the business is done. And it's like I said, it's the largest city there. You got other places like Malindi. That's a nice beach town as well. And you got uh, Nakuru, Nakuru, which is a lake town. And you have Navasha and you have a bunch of other different things going on in Kenya. Of course, we all know about the Ma Maasai Mar, uh, part of the Serengeti, that's another part goes down into Tanzania. As Kenyans call it, uh, Tanzania, but us Americans, we call it Tanzania. <laughs> you know, that's what we're doing. But this is the top 10, man. Top 10 tribes in Kenya that has the most curviest women. Yes, let's get started, bro. Should be good. Like I said, if I didn't mention your tribe, don't come for me. <laughs> I just mentioned the top 10. All right, guys, let's kick this list off. Coming in at number 10, we have the Maasai tribe, hailing from the Rift Valley province of Kenya. With the Maasai women, they're very traditional and uh, customary. They teach their youth uh, how to be traditional at an early age. These guys kind of remind me of the Dora Milaje off of Black Panther in a sense, probably because of the red colors. And the red color symbolizes courage, bravery, and strength. And the average Maasai woman is six foot three. <laughs> so you gotta be pretty tall to date one of these women. Anyway, but any of probably won't be able to date many of them because a lot of them uh, they they get married to uh, married to arranged marriages. And with them they are in charge of the cooking, cleaning, the child rearing, the homemaking. And uh, the men in their culture can have up to three wives. So um, but these guys are beautiful in their own right, as you can see. And uh, this is coming in number 10, got Maasai. At number nine, number nine, we have the Kalajan tribe. The Kalajan tribes hails from the Rift Valley province of Kenya. Kalajan women are very trustworthy. They trust a lot in their true love. She will stay with you within times of happiness, just like the Bible dictates. She's faithful, she's perfect in bed, she will respect her man. 
Uh, most of these guys are usually models. And um, Kalajan women are known for uh, being in the Olympics. Usually when you watch the Olympics and long distance running, in the Kenyan cross uh, finish the um, race, a woman, she's usually from this tribe, the Kalajan tribe. But um, say these guys are perfect in bed. If you have one, you're gonna want you're gonna want her over and over. Cause I, uh, look at that. Yeah, I guess I guess you would want her over and over. <laughs> they're faithful. Um, once they fall for you, that's it. You know, they're not gonna be sleeping around and all that. Say they're um, gonna take care of the home, make sure everything is good, make sure the kids are good. You know, in their culture, the man comes first, and um, you're gonna be taken care of if you deal with a college and woman. I say they're very trustworthy, these women. As you can see, yeah. <laughs> Coming in at number eight, number eight, let's go. We have the Kukuyu tribe. Kukuyu tribe hailing from the central province of Kenya. This is the largest ethnic group in um, Kenya. So these guys are usually great cooks. They're very, they have great entrepreneurial skills. They know how to go out and get that money. They'll do anything to, um, they'll fight tooth and nail to get it to make sure their lives are good and make sure your lives are good as well if you're there with them. You know, she's your better half, so she's gonna be there for you. They make great homemakers. They will help you fight your battles. So if you're in it, if you into it with somebody, she's into it with somebody too. <laughs> so there's, there's no half stepping with a Kukuyu woman. You know, like I say, they are very great entrepreneurs, take care of the home. Uh, she'll surprise her man with gifts, and uh, she'll buy stuff for the house, she'll buy him clothes, you know, and, and be a, a be a great cheerleader from him for him, whatever he decides to do. But if you were to cheat on her, she find out if you cross her in any kind of way, how she was helping you throw hands, she gonna throw hands your way. <laughs> so yeah, that's, 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 that's the Kukuyu woman. <laughs> All right, coming in at number seven, we have the Meru tribe from the Upper Eastern Province of Kenya near Mount Kenya. These women teach their daughters about the hardships and challenges they're gonna face with their man and how to cope with them. They actually have a three-day orientation and when they process the maidens, they are taught how to handle various scenarios, including how to deal with their husband who is angry, who may be stressed out, who may be sick, or who might be even drunk. They're taught to deal with all of that. They have a uh, non-confrontational spirit, but if you get them angry, they will get at you. <laughs> we can't we can't leave that out. They're very caring and loving. They're extremely submissive, and they have been actually groomed to cater for their husband. Right, coming in at number six. We're at number six already. Let's go. We have the Taita tribe. Taita tribe hailing from the coast province of Kenya. Uh, Taita women are naturally beautiful. Most of them don't have to pile on a bunch of makeup. They just roll out of bed, do their hair, and go. Uh, very few men would actually dispute this. Taita, la Taita ladies are naturally beautiful and blessed with curvy figures. They're um, very good on the eyes. Uh, they take care of home. You'll never be uh, regret being in a relationship with one. Uh, they're good cooks. You know how to hold their man down. They're very submissive. I'm noticing a pattern here with these with these um, women from these Kenyan tribes. This word submissive comes up a lot. I mean a lot, which is a very good thing. Very good thing. Loyal. The word loyalty comes up a lot as well. And as you can see, the word curvy come up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that comes up a lot. Yes, yes, yes. This is a very nice thing. Tight to try. So yes. Oh wow, look it up. Um, hmm. Let me. I need to call somebody. This is crazy. Hold on. Yes. Hi. Hi. How much does it cost to fly to Nairobi? <laughs> yeah, I want to come there. Yeah, right now. Yes. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, to Nairobi first, <laughs> then to um, Danani, then Melindy, then <laughs> then uh, Novasha. I want to come right now. When can I come? Yes, I have my passport. I have it. <laughs> How long does it take for the visa to go through? Oh, 72. I'm a, yeah, I'm a uh, black American, yes. Oh, just 72 hours. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, well, I can see you guys this weekend? Yes, I want to come there immediately. Yes. Okay, my brother. All right, my brother. I will see you very, very soon because I am going to come there. All right. All right. We're good. All right. <laughs> okay, coming in at number five, we have the Somali tribe hailing from the northeastern province of Kenya. Uh, but some all you women from this tribe they're very they hold their community very high uh, they focus on their family and their culture Somali women will actually live at home with their parents until they get married and um in Somali in the Somali tribe here in Kenya polygamy may be practiced in some areas of Somalia in the Somalia area and they can have up to four wives one thing about this, the women from the Somali tribe, they're very difficult to get. But if you get one, she's yours. <laughs> so they very they get very difficult to get. But once you if you manage to get one, guys, they're very submissive to their husbands. They love to sing. They love to dance and cook. And she has a great love for her family. And as you can see, majority of them are motto esque. You know, they look they look very nice. They're easy on the eyes, guys from the um, Somali tribe in Kenya and don't confuse it with Somalia I guess they have some type of um, lineage from that country because they're actually next-door neighbors if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken but this is a tribe here in the northeastern province of Kenya the Somali tribe so in a sense they have Somali heritage but they're actually Kenyan as well coming in at number four getting to that number one Number four, we have the Kamba tribe, hailing from the lower eastern province of Kenya. Uh, most of these women are very beautiful, and they're very good in bed. Now, from what I've heard, uh, don't quote me on this, and Kamba women do not come for me. <laughs> but I heard if they're with a man, and let's say he got to go out of town for like a few months, um, they're going to go get it in. I mean, they'll love him when he come back. <laughs> <laughs> but they're gonna go get it in because they have very high sex drives. If you were a Campbell woman, you, you gotta bring your hard hat and boots at least five to six days a week because she's gonna demand that you that you guys be intimate. And she's probably not gonna take no for an answer. And judging by how the Campbell women look, you probably not gonna wanna say no too many times. But anyway, if someone can confirm that for me, <laughs> if they'll go mess around and they do it or not, I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. Most of the um, Campbell women are not expensive. They're kind of low maintenance, which makes the husband's life very easy because they don't nag him to death about going out having things and, and things like that. And these women understand if their man is broke and she has money, she'll actually give him time to find himself without nagging him to death. So she'll just give him time to go out there and, and, and make it happen. They're very submissive. Like I say, they're not selective about which tribes they date. I know some uh, women in, in Kenya, they won't date uh, specific tribes, but these guys don't really care. And they don't have that independent spirit. And even if they're doing better than a man, they don't ever rub it in his face. They just, um, they're very humble and just, they just roll with it like that. Number three, we getting there guys. Number three, we got the Lu tribe. Lu tribe, hailing from the Nanzing, oh goodness, Nyingza province. I'm sure I'll get corrected at some point. <laughs> but these women are very traditional with domestic chores, teaching their children different languages. And most women in this tribe are very uh, educated because most of these guys are lawyers, the professors, the actresses, actresses like um, Lupita Nyong'o, as us Americans know her from a few movies like um, 12 Years a Slave and uh, Black Panther, of course, and what's that? Um, not Get Out, but what was the other one? Whatever. <laughs> I forgot, but anyway. These women come in various tones, up to chocolate, dark chocolate. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Where that leather girl? And um, but the thing with these women here, they look for an alpha male. So if you're not an alpha male, uh, do not try to date a woman from the Lou tribe because she's gonna run all over you. Yes, 
If you're not alpha, don't step to her. Matter of fact, she wouldn't even step to you because she could see it on you. But these women are very assertive, they're very intelligent, and they're very adventurous. Not a hold down the household. They hold down a man. Yes, they hold a man down too. Yeah. <laughs> women from the Lou tribe are very um, loyal, very trusting. But like I say, they're adventurous. Some may call them a little narcissistic because they like to live high. They like to live like the Beverly Hills type lifestyle. But hell, who don't like to live the Beverly Hills type lifestyle? <laughs> if I can live the Beverly Hills lifestyle, I'll be living it too. <laughs> you know? Here we go, man. We had number two already, guys. Number two, we have the Kissy tribe. Hailing from the Nyanza province of Kenya. And for what I researched, they said these women make the best wives out of all the tribes. Someone can like... Um, reiterate that on me or not uh, they can kind of like see if i'm telling the truth or not but these women are very submissive they knows how to let the man be the um, head of the household road relationships she gives him respect they're cool humble down to earth uh kissy women don't have an evil nature that'll run their man away they have uh compassion to serve they want to serve their man they want to give them good sex they want to cook them good food they want to do all that Kissy women do not use sex as a bargaining chip. They see it as a, uh, a marital necessity. So you supposed to get it. You know? <laughs> well, if you don't buy me this, I ain't gonna give you nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, they don't do none of that goofy nonsense. You gonna get it. Whether you want it or not, you gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Kissy women are uh, great homemakers. Just like the ancestors, Kissy women believe in the strength of having a family. Uh, they are perfect through the family and she doesn't go out with another man, especially if she's able to serve her husband well Cook a meal clothes all that clothes get ironed good sex. No complaining. Hey Sounds like a winner to me. Kissy number one. We at number one homie. Yeah, we right here number one who we got who we got We got the Luya tribe hailing from the western province of Kenya these women, number one, they are the best cooks. And you talking about keeping a place clean, you come into that place is spotless. Spotless every day. Not a dish left in the sink. Everything is good to go. If you with this woman, you'll never go to bed hungry. She's going to make sure you eat. Guaranteed, because they love to cook. They're always cleaning up. They're not dirty at all. They're great housekeepers. They're very hard workers. They don't mind working hard to achieve their goal. Luya women are very loyal. She will never cheat on you once you have her. She's yours. They value relationships. And they were, like I said, they rarely cheat. Now, don't get the game twisted now. <laughs> if you go out there and consistently cheat on her, and then at some point, she's going to show you that she's a little bit better at the cheating game than you are. But just, just anyway, it don't matter what culture you're from. You know, everybody want to be treated fair. You know, everybody want to be treated good. You just can't be out there uh, running around raw dog and all this other stuff and not expect no consequence to come. Anyway. Uh, looks like Luya women are very loyal. Most of them, as you can see, are very beautiful. They have great figures. It's hard. It's very hard to find a Luya woman who don't have a nice shape. Even if they don't have the huge badonka donk, they still got a nice shape, nice and curvy, or just got 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 everything a man's looking for. And a lot of them are low maintenance as well. They'd rather just have a Netflix and chill than to go out and spend money. So that is my top ten, guys. Back to it. Hey, hey, man, what's going on? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was all good. Don't forget to smash that like button, man. Subscribe to my channel, man. I really appreciate that. You know, more subscribers, the better. If you want to donate something, that's fine. I'll provide my cash app. And just send me a little donation. Be all good. Like it. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, share the video. You know, that's, that's what we do, man. But... Like I say, man, this is Mr. Melvin TV. Hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Red Solo Cup. I'll tell you what's in it. There's something in it. Yes. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.